Welcome back to this episode of 50 Top Remedies. And today is chamomilla, one of my favorites. So chamomilla is German chamomile. So maybe some people say chamomile. Um, chamom chamomilla is great for colic, cramps, flatulence, diarrhea, dentition, dentition, toothaches, wisdom teeth pain, earaches, um, sensitive ears, anger, screaming, irritable, fractious, and coffee abuse. Let me tell you a little story about chamomilla that might help you to remember it. So chem you can recognize chamomilla by the temperament of the person. So chamomilla can have burns and pains, and um, but also they're just very angry and fractious. And so you just, you can't make this, this person, usually this child, happy. So they'll say, she'll say, I wanna be picked up, and you pick her up, and then she wants to be put down. She wants something to drink, you get her something to drink, and then she doesn't wanna drink it. And this can just go on and on. She's very angry and irritable. And so my, I have two stories about chamomilla. My first one is with my oldest son who used to have tons of ear infections when he was little, uh, when he was under three. And um, suddenly when he was 14, he had this terrible earache. And he was literally screaming, rolling around, screaming in pain and it was so bad that I couldn't think. So I decided to give him chamomilla and um, just to help him calm down so that I could think to figure out what remedy to give him for his earache, not thinking about chamomilla being great for earaches. So, <clears throat> um, so I gave him chamomilla. I went downstairs to get my repertory, my materia medica, so I could work this out, figure out what was gonna be for this ear pain. And um, he, it was silence. And so I went back up to check on him. He had fallen asleep. So I was like, good, you know, at least he, he's not in pain. So then when he woke up, I, I went up there and asked him how he was. He was 100% fine, totally fine, gone, nothing. Nothing else ever came of it. Didn't have to do any other remedies, no more doses, nothing. And then my second um, story, chamomilla story, is my youngest son burnt his finger on the stove and um, he was just really irritable with that burn. It was really painful, he was irritable with it. And um, I was giving cantharis because I always give cantharis for burns. And I was giving, he'd had like three doses maybe of cantharis and he got really mad at me and said, your stupid remedies aren't working. And I was like, chamomilla, I knew it. I could see it. Like all of a sudden, I should have been able to see it before, but I didn't. And like, it was like all of a sudden I could see the irritation that he had and I saw chamomilla and I gave it to him. He fell asleep. And when he woke up, he couldn't even remember which finger it was. I was like, are you okay? And he was like, it, it, yeah, I'm fine. So, um, a child falling asleep when you give them a remedy is a good sign. So, um, also developing a fever when you give a remedy is a good sign. That means it's it's doing its job. It's waking the immune system up to get to work and do what it's supposed to do, which is fight the infection, which is what fevers do. So learn more about that in one of my classes. Um, chamomilla can be great for menstrual cramps, dysmenorrhea, which is painful menses, labor pains, irregular menstruation, childhood diseases, severe pains, spasm, spasms, sciatica, emotional, temperamental, oversensitive, irritable, cross, cannot be appeased, demanding. So, um, so chamomilla um, condition may be brought on by bad temper, bad diet, abuse of coffee, abuse of narcotics, dentition, loss of sleep. So learn again more about remedies like this and protocols and how to use them in one of my classes, melissacrenshaw.com. I'd also be happy to consult you if you need help, if you need, acute con if you need acute condition help or a chronic condition help. All that stuff is on my website. Go visit me there. I hope to see you soon.